Mm. Hey guys, it's Ollie, and welcome to your very first beginner's C++ tutorial. And if you've been watching my Java tutorials, um, we're going to be doing something similar to the first tutorial in that, and that is basically downloading and setting up um, the compiler for C++. Now, hopefully you already have NetBeans installed, I'm not going to tell you how to install that. You can watch my uh, second beginner's Java tutorial to uh, see how to install NetBeans. But anyways, first things first, you're going to want to come to this website called sigwin.com. And this is basically this site you can download the compiler from. And if you just scroll down a bit, um, oh, there we go. Uh, current Sigwin version, and then you can click install it by running setup.exe, and then you can download this. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to open that up and show you how, because this is quite complicated here. Um, now, pay attention because this is where it gets a bit complicated. So, um, we're greeted with the Sigwin setup. You can hit next, uh, install from internet, next. Um, keep this default directory here, the c slash sigwin, uh, hit next again, and next, next. And now when you're greeted with this, um, you can pretty much select anyone, but I recommend selecting http colon slash slash mirrors dot kernel dot org, and then if you just hit next, it downloads the package, which is like the installer package. And then you are greeted with this. Now pay very close attention because we need to select which things we want to install. And there are over, well, actually exactly 10 things we need to do. Um, we're greeted with this. Everything should say default. Um, first things first, we're going to want to come to this bit here that says devil. And you hit the plus and scroll along a bit so you can see. And then the first thing you need to find is something called A style. Here we go. This thing here, A style. Come over to where it says it should say skip. It says keep for me because I've already installed this. But you got to click it until it says the latest version here, and that means it's going to install. Now we scroll down a bit, and we find something called bin utils. Here it is. Same again. You click it till it has the version, and that's going to install that. Next thing we need to install something called GCC G++ and that is right here and that these both should automatically be selected don't uncheck anything um, only check things that I tell you to and then come down to GDB we should find it, here we go, make sure that's selected on the latest version then we need to find make scroll down some more um, make here click it till it says the um well it, for you it should say the version for me I've already installed it so it says keep then we find something called splint scroll down some more and where is it here it is splint uh, again select it until you reach your version and that's it for the devl bit we can collapse that again now we need to come into editors and there's only two on this, and that's nano, first things. Nano here, we click the, till we get at the version, then we need something called vim, which is this here, and get that version there. Then we need two more things, and that is from, scroll down, text, and we need one called less, scroll down, scroll down, less right here click it till it says this here and then we need util.linux and that's this right here and once you've selected all those exact ones that I've said um, you can hit next and then it may ask you to it may ask you if you want to download um, the, like, the necessary packages or something like that just hit, make sure you, that is selected yes you can hit next once this is downloaded I'm just going to go ahead and click cancel because mine is already all set up and I'm going to delete the setup files here just to save some memory and I'll leave that doing that and what's the time now what we need to set up 
the path variable, much like you do in Java, if you've seen my Java tutorials. And to do this, if you're on, um, actually, wait, you right-click on my computer and hit Properties, and then on Windows 7 you hit Advanced System Settings, and then hit Environment Variables. And then now that you find this, the path up here, if you don't see path, then click new and type in path. And then the value, um, we're going to write C colon slash sigwin slash bin, because that's the location we installed it to. I've already got the path file, so I'm just going to edit on this. And I've already got my JDK installed. And at the end of that path, you put a semicolon, and then you put c slash sigwin slash bin and now that our path is set up our compilers are ready to be used we can go over to netbeans and when you're in netbeans let me make this smaller hit application then come down to c++ these should be kind of greyed out and then you hit c++ application and hit next and then for you guys it should say activating C++, it's going to take like 20 seconds or so and it should find the default uh, tool collection right here. If not, post a comment on what happens in error and I'll try and help you. <clears throat> um, but for now, let's create a new project called uh, CPP, C++ test and then leave everything the same and everything all default and then you can hit finish and then in our in our project explorer over here click source files and then double click main and as you can see we've got main C++ and this has generated some stuff for us and we can just delete that and I'm gonna leave it for this tutorial guys just installing it is quite is enough effort um, in the next tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to build your first hello world program in C++ and then we can begin our C++ journey so that's it for this tutorial guys please subscribe visit the forums if you have any questions and